Metrics can be found in reports and on dashboards. Reach reporting allows you to use metrics to uniquely present your data in a way that will make the most sense to your clients. You will see on this dashboard they come in many different chart types. All metrics from Reach templates are able to be edited and changed to fit your needs. To get started, let's edit one of these metrics here. To edit a metric, simply click the lines in the upper right corner of the metric you wish to edit and click Edit. Once you open the metric builder, you will notice a spreadsheet similar to most other spreadsheet tools you are familiar with. In reach columns are usually tied to date ranges and rows will usually reference accounts. The numbers in these cell are directly pulled from your bookkeeping software and can only be changed in your bookkeeping software. You will notice that a couple of the rows and columns in this metric have wrenches next to them. These indicate custom rows and columns. You are able to input any data or formulas you would like in custom rows or columns. If we look at the top of a column, you will notice a couple of different icons, such as this green calendar icon. This icon lets you know that this column is pulling from your actuals and has live dates turned on, meaning that it will update as time goes on. If you are using budget data for a column, this icon will appear as a green telescope and means the same thing just that it is referencing your budget instead of your actuals. The next icon is a funnel. If you click this icon, you will be able to filter this column by class or location. Then we have column settings shown by this gear icon here. This allows you to edit the column type, as well as the date range for this column. You are also able to turn on and off live dates here. Live dates mean that column data will update as time goes on. If live dates are turned off, this column will remain static. The last icon for columns is the blue eye icon. This allows you to show or hide data from the final end metric. You can see the final metric in the preview window below. Blue eyes mean that the data will be visible, whereas white eyes will not show. Adding additional data to metrics is super simple. You can do that by either clicking the Add Column button in the upper right or the Add Rows button in the lower left. For columns, you can choose to add actuals, which will add date columns referencing your bookkeeping software. Forecast will reference data from your budgets you have created. Actuals slash forecast will function similarly, though forecast columns will switch to actuals as time goes on. The next option, Google Sheets, will let you reference non-date specific columns in a Google Sheet you have connected to reach. And the last option, custom, allows you to add a number of blank custom columns. If we navigate down to the add rows buttons, we will have three options, data, which allows you to select accounts from your connected data, such as your bookkeeping software or data sheets. The next option statements will allow you to quickly add all the accounts from a full statement. And the last option, custom, will allow you to add blank rows to input data or formulas. The top bar above the spreadsheet offers a number of different tools to help you in your building process, such as font settings, number format settings, the ability to add cell borders as well as change font colors and cell background colors. The last few tools allow you quickly use formulas, clear cell formatting, lock a cell, or copy the visual formatting of another cell. This last tool here is our conditional formatting tool. If you would like to learn more about that, make sure to visit our video tutorials, which you can access anywhere in the software from this top bar here. If we scroll down to the preview window, there are some additional settings to help you customize your metrics even more. You can change the type of metric here by clicking the different chart types. And on the right of the preview window is the additional settings section. This will change for each different type of chart. You can learn more about these settings in our video tutorials section as well. Once we have finished editing this metric, we can click Save and Close up top, and it will navigate us back to the dashboard and update our metric with the changes we have made. If you ever want to create your own KPI from scratch, you can do so by clicking the Add Metric button in the upper right and choosing Quick Build. Quick Build will take you into the same metric builder section you just saw, but it will be blank and ready for you to build out your custom metric. This about covers metrics. If you have any other questions on the metric builder, send us a chat.